Hey guys, Jeff Pro here. Today I'm going to tell you a story about how I met my wife, Grace. Be right back. So I thought I'd start off by telling you how I ended up in Fort Lauderdale. It was uh, early, middle 80s, uh, I was working at a Chevy garage and a buddy of mine called me up one day and said, Jeff, I'm moving to Fort Lauderdale. You want to go? And, uh, you know, I told him I needed to think about it and uh, got off the phone, talked with the guys that I was working with and decided, what the heck, I could always come back and probably get my job back, so no big deal. So called him back up, decided to make the move to Fort Lauderdale. Spent the next 23 years down in the Fort, Fort Lauderdale, Miami area and worked all kinds of jobs. On the weekends, I was going to the beach playing beach volleyball with all these guys, Rich Hitch Hitchcock, uh, John Getz, uh, Brian Sahoz, a bunch of other guys. But every weekend we were down at the beach playing beach volleyball and hanging out at the bar. It was a, it was a great time. So many years went by and uh, I eventually got married and unfortunately, well fortunately really, got divorced and I swore I would never get married again, okay? And uh, eventually I met Grace and got married, but for Grace, she's from the Philippines and she moved to Miami back in uh, like 92 or 94, somewhere, somewhere around there, the, you know, the early 90s. And she dated some guy for a while and they broke up. Eventually she got married. She ended up getting divorced and swore she would never get married again. Okay, so when, when I met Grace, I was working as a surgical technician. I was working for a company that would uh, find hospitals that needed a surgical technician. And I'd basically go in there and work for the hospital. So it was kind of a contract deal. But I uh, uh, met Grace at a hospital called Mi Miami Heart Institute. And uh, we worked some cases together early on. Nothing too major or anything, but... Grace was always upbeat and always really friendly, so one day I decided I was going to ask her out. And it just happened to be Valentine's Day. And I asked her out, and she shot me down. She said no. Uh, fortunately, a few days later, I asked her out again, and we went out on our first date. And here's a picture of that. So, anyway, while we were dating, I um, took Grace to a buddy's house for a barbecue one time and uh, we're driving over there and she's asking me questions about this guy. Who is this guy? I told her, oh, his, his name's Brian Sahoza. I used to play beach volleyball with him down on the beach every Saturday years ago. And we still remain friends. So we're going over there and she's like, that, that name sounds familiar. So we get over there. I introduce her to Brian and his wife and I'd, I'd known them for many years. But anyway, she... Uh, it turns out that uh, the guy she first dated when she came to the Philippines back in the early 90s happens to be Brian's brother Michael. So how bizarre is that? I don't know. I, th I thought that was really strange. But uh, Grace and I dated for a while. And here's the funny thing. Um, she shot me down on Valentine's Day. But the following Valentine's Day, we were getting married on the beach in Fort Lauderdale. How bizarre is that? So life is, is funny how little things happen to you. Um, I swore I would never get married again. She did the same thing. We happened to meet and uh, things just turned out better for me and for her too. So we have a great son. His name is Chase. Here's a, here's a picture here. And uh, here's one that's more recent. Great kid. We love him to death. And uh, if we wouldn't have met, he wouldn't be here. So life is funny that way. You might look at a situation as being terrible, but then years later, it turns out that uh, it was probably a, a great thing that, that that happened and you went through, you know, something that you didn't think was too great at the time. So that's something to think about. Life is funny that way, and I'm sure you've had bizarre things happen in your life to where you're doing something, and turns out that if you wouldn't have done something two weeks earlier or a week earlier, and you wouldn't have met this person, if you wouldn't have gone to this party, it might be that uh, 
you know, you didn't go to a party and uh, you might have met somebody that you would have married. Or you did go to the party and you met somebody and eventually ended up marrying that person. But, you know, you were thinking about not going to the party. So a lot of things like that happen. And that's what makes life interesting. Hey, hope you're having a great day. Get out there and enjoy the day. And I'll talk to you again soon.